Hi everybody, Happy New Year. I'm so excited to be back uh, with Bell's Palsy Talk. Today we're gonna be talking to Kyle Warren who um, has experience with Ramsey Hunt. He's an actor, he's a producer. He's just come on right now, so I'm gonna invite him onto our talk. Hi. Hi, Kyle. Hi. How are you doing? I'm great, how are you? Thanks so oh, much great. for having me. Yeah, I'm so excited that we could co coordinate. We're actually both in Vancouver. Are you in Vancouver right now? I'm in Vancouver. I know, so close, but so far, yeah. I'm um, just in uh, Port Moody, so about 25 minutes away. Oh, cool. Away here. Um, I always right love, now. pardon me? We're in Kitsilano right now. I figured, I figured that was gonna be my guess, Kits or yeah. Yale Town. I feel like that's a pretty good guess for you as well, Yale Town. Around, well, I think you're <laughs> overshooting my, uh, my value. <laughs> well, that's, well, yeah, I mean, actually, yeah, good point. I mean, Yale Town is a nice place. I guess um, dumpsters aren't very nice in anywhere you go. So <laughs> if you can't afford it, you don't want to live in a dumpster. Anyways, thank you so much for um, for joining us here. So everybody, I'd like to introduce you to Kyle. Um, we've been back and forth here on Messenger, getting to know each other. Kyle's an actor, so he's in, um, obviously, an industry as myself, where you're forward-facing all the time, um, and that affects um how we work through the whole facial paralysis nightmare so um yeah so anyway so Kyle why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself um and your career and things that we can get into uh the day when you woke up with the dreaded uh paralyzed face <laughs> sure yeah I like you said I'm an actor um I became an actor and kind of in my later 20s so I my life took me all kinds of different places to before I decided to pursue acting but it's been uh an amazing journey, really fulfilling career. And in a weird way, um, this challenge that way we've all been gone through facial paralysis, Ramsey Hunt, Bell's palsy has deepened my acting work in a really interesting way. Um, and, and, uh, it's made me a better actor and made me much more present. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's a crazy thing. You know, it's nice to talk to someone about it who understands because normally when you're telling someone what you've been through, you get this wow, <laughs> like it's shock, awe, confusion. Uh, so it's nice to have our community where we can support each other. And I found a lot of good people in the uh, facial paralysis community, whether it's on the Facebook posts or whatever, you know, and as I shared my story, I, people reach out to me. I've probably had, um, you, I'm sure you understand as well, hundreds of people reach out because they're so desperate for answers. And, and uh, for sure. And I, you know, and I'm, to me, and I know that you're the same, we have that same kind of focus and mentality as we're more of a support. Obviously, we're not doctors. Uh, we could have four, we could probably, we could have like four condos in Yelltown if we were both doctors. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm really passionate about using my voice, Brett. You know, I'm obviously a very chatty person. It's yeah. very important to me and my passion is to um, make people feel like they're not alone. I spent a lot of, a lot of time in my life feeling like I was alone um, in one way or another, you know, teenager, depression, I have ADHD, all the wonderful things, yeah. um, you know, that we come to, to realize and put them all together when we're an adult. And it's really important to me that now I have this ability to use my voice um, and join people like yourself who do the same to, you know, make people feel like um, they're not alone. And I love that how you how you described it, how it kind of this, the experience of having Bell's palsy, Ramsey Hunt, facial paralysis, or however we're going to describe it, mm -hmm. really kind of like makes us more multi-leveled humans, I think. Yeah. Having gone through something, something like that. And I agree completely. Yeah. Um, you know, I, it's, I'm coming on, wait a second. I'm just past my two year anniversary for when it occurred. Um, and I went through it all, like what, the why me, the, you know, the five stages of grief, I guess we could call it. And people think, you know, it's, it's uh, so under, misunderstood because they're like, it's, it, you know, you always hear that, well, it's not life threatening, you know, thing. But yeah. it's a chronic, painful, life altering Weird thing. thing. And I Connected talked to, to oh, I'm sorry. Up to you, I'm really bad for that. But a couple <laughs> chats ago, it's, it's just that odd thing where it's, yeah, because it's not life threatening, then you go back and forth. Like I should be grateful that yeah. I, yeah, but it's life changing. Life it's absolutely <laughs> life changing. Like you could, you could definitely uh, chart your life before it occurred and after it occurred. Cause it's very different things. Now for me, again, this is just for me. 
because uh, people, everyone in, who goes through this are at different stages of recovery and they have some, you know, I don't want to speak for other people, but for me, I've decided to be grateful for it in a weird way. Um, you know, there's a, the, I, I, I enjoy this, the, the Stoics and there's a Stoic book called The Obstacle is the Way. And I really believe that those of us who are asked to really endure hard things and going through Ramsey Hunt, Bell's palsy, facial paralysis um, is incredibly hard. It's uh, not only the pain, the agony, the way you look, the way you feel, the emotional connection, how your face connects to your, your brain emotionally. It's a burden that's not only awful, but hard to, to explain to people. So it feels very lonely. Mm -hmm. um, but those who of us who have been asked to endure it, I truly believe are the strongest among us because you couldn't go through this if you weren't strong as iron and strong as steel. So take as best, this is, I've gone the other way and been hopeless and sad and why me? <laughs> For me, it's a hell of a lot better to think of it this way. And it uh, Yeah, when you focus that energy on any kind of minute, um, uh, gratitude or just a tiny little thing. Yes, Heather, mm -hmm. great. Heather and I, Heather's joined us um, right now and Heather and I have had um, an Instagram live and we're going to do again and maybe we would do, we could do all three of us. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. We could do discussion. Yeah, because, anytime. Yeah, I just, I think that it's really, I mean, it's really fun for me. I, I love it. But um, yeah. to identify those kinds of like little tiny things where that that's where this community is growing and I'm so excited that it isn't just there's lots of groups out there about teaching um you know stretches and all those basic things yeah but me and that's why you and I really connected on Instagram and I noticed one of your posts I guess at some point mm -hmm. is that reason and I am not you know I have people and followers on all the time being like well I didn't do anything wrong I don't yeah. that's not what I mean and I that's mm -hmm. not what we it doesn't mean that you did something to deserve this to happen to you but there is yeah. a reason that this happened i strongly believe and any kind of disease in the body manifests from energy so you know if i'm walking down i was talking to my aunt about that the other day you know she has problems with her uh, cystic um and her ovaries and stuff okay mm -hmm. well this woman has the same parts this woman has the same parts well why is this woman get this and why does this person not you know um bell's palsy caused by a virus fairly common why yeah did you get bell's palsy ramsey hunt and me and not the person sitting in you next in on the bus yeah. there and i it's, love talking about it's, it it's fascinating to me it's fascinating and you know another thing you don't want to drive yourself too nuts is if i did this differently this oh, yeah. been, if i did this treatment like i have several things had i known and done differently i believe my recovery would have been different but what what you cannot change it you can't yeah. change it any time wasted and I and trust me, I went through months and years, and my poor girlfriend has endured this whole thing with me. She's been incredible, incredible to have a support system. But so I'm not saying like do this. I'm just like all of you. I went through hell with this thing, absolute hell, rock bottom, forced just, depression. I just read your post that I saw, and about your list, which I'm sure is not exhaustive of the things that you tried. And I screamed. Yeah. I'm yeah. happy to go into treatments because I, it was my full-time job. Like, Let's try it, right? Full-time job for over a year to get better. I didn't yeah. really work. I, you know, I still tried to audition and stuff, but it's I hard. researched and. Trigger point therapy, hyperbaric oxygen, supplements, naturopath, osteopaths, dietitian, meditation, hypnosis, and endless medications. And I'm telling you, my list is probably the same. People yeah. are like, oh, did that work? I don't know. Because I literally tried everything. You're That's telling me rosemary, essential, rosemary essential oil is going to help with Bell's palsy? <laughs> Sign me up. I'm like, I was no. rubbing castor oil there, in my yeah. face, on my face and on a hot tub or in my bathtub for like two weeks and meditating, visualizing the nerves, healing themselves and hypnosis and everything you can possibly imagine. Craniosacral <laughs> therapy. It cost me a fortune. Yeah, I did that one too. We yeah. should actually if we have what our what our list is because i'm the same you know mine's been six years and even six years later i'll be like sure i'll try that like yeah oh yeah well that's another so, thing i believe I should, and this is something i would in those posts you know i get 
six months on and it wasn't quite getting better year on. So I'd say is, has anyone recovered past the year just looking for hope? And you always would get a lot of, nope, this is the way it's going to be. Just rest, it'll get better, all that stuff. Yeah, and then you that. get that one person that says, oh yeah, I got better. And I would just cling to that one person. And I really believe there's always, there's always a few people that, yeah, keep doing blah, blah, blah. And I really believe that that positive thought in my brain helped me to, I'm two years now and I, I did a Hallmark movie six months ago. And if I look back to six months ago, I've healed significantly since six months ago. And that's 18 months to two years. Now I'm not saying that's for everybody. I don't know yeah. everyone's thing. The key thing I want to stress to everybody is get to an expert. And by expert, I don't mean a neurologist. I mean, someone who deals with Ramsey Hunt, Bell's palsy, acoustic neuroma, whatever has caused the facial process, get to someone who deals with that thing all the time. Because just a neurologist doesn't necessarily know, a family doctor doesn't necessarily know, they kind of know that, 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 but they don't know the details. You gotta go to an expert. Yeah, now you went to Jody. Right. I went to I went to a lot of people, but Jody, <laughs> I really connected well with Jody. Yeah, she's amazing. And the, I mean, she is a passion about it. Like she is obsessed with fixing our face. <laughs> and that alone is yeah. amazing. I, I got some some of the other people and there, I had good experiences, but it was a little more like, okay, this is what we do, da da da, you're probably and not a lot of hope. With Jody, it's like, oh, okay, you got when you blink your mouth twitches. Great. I got this, we're gonna fix that for that. You yep. know, and she's excited and ready for it. She's up on all the latest research. Uh, the book, her book, Fix My Face, is not her book, it, it's, she's a big part of it, but uh, M um, Michael Riley's a doctor out of Georgetown, I believe, that uh, is a great person you can consult with too, just telehealth with them, that's what I did. Read Fix My Face um, and deal with all, the, and, and go to an expert, because each, all of our situations are different so a thing that worked for me might not work for someone else. But as this uh, philosophy of healing, my philosophy is the same. I'm sure yours was, was just to throw spaghetti at the wall and try <laughs> everything. Check with a doctor in case so it doesn't hurt. Like yeah, East Stim, for example, doing the East Stim, I would not go back and do. And I yeah. did get that done when I started. And a, a yeah. lot of su su uh, research suggests yeah. that that, in fact, exacerbates synkinesis, which yes. is something that we both have, I think, and we both yes, I, yeah. love to death, don't we? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's so, okay, so I have some questions for you. So for for those of us joining us, um, Mel has a has a question. So Mel, I will get that get in a second because I, that, I have a question, or sorry, wow, <laughs> that is my question as well. Um, so you went to Jody now. Jody is from the Center for Facial Recovery. If people are mm -hmm. joining talk about her consistently on my feed and there's also two interviews yeah. in my IGTV with her if you are new or at any point in your recovery that is what Kyle is talking about these people who are I mean and Jody and her partner of doctors are literally obsessed and so passionate about this it is so refreshing to find somebody who actually knows what you're talking about when you go in there they do telehealth make sure you get on it so yeah. Now, the next thing I was going to say, so Mel has asked, like, what are the things that you're finding are helping the most? Like, so I'm assuming that Jody gave you exercises. She did. Yes. Now, them every day. I do them every day. Yeah. I've been doing them every, every, I, I meet with Jody every, depends, right? Before I, I shoot a movie, I'll meet with her a lot to really coordinate what I need to do. And, uh, you know, like, for example, I have a little like ball that I put in my mouth to loosen up my my buccinator buccinator they all say yeah. it different loosen yeah. this guy up so i can yeah. when i speak i'm not winking at the camera all the time <laughs> so not, uh don't get enough sleep right and then you're like you're yeah ex exactly so so i work if i'm doing something I, work, I meet with her uh more but typically every couple months i'll meet with her we'll see how my face has progressed she rates you know she and then we'll work very specifically to what i'm trying to accomplish like right now i really want to get rid of um when I'm blinking this little twitch here, which has gotten way worse because then of course this muscle gets tired and it's a pain. But so, to so be honest, mm -hmm. my, I have the way to heal. And this is, I think you need to empower your body as best you can. So deal with Jody, do the exercises, right? Or, yeah. or a facial physiotherapist, whatever one you choose. There's a few, I think um, Boston has one with Teresa Haddock. 
Uh, okay. There's people down in LA. So find your facial physiotherapist. And if we have notes or something, I have a list of people that I'm happy to share with I you. That say, like I'll touch base with you after the talk. Um, for those of us watching, we'll put those in the notes that you guys can yeah. kind of research. But, because uh, like I always say on all the, the feeds, and I like to say very frequently because people come on and on, or sorry, on and off of lives is I'm not a doctor. Kyle's not a doctor. We are no. You're giving our personal opinions and you guys need to do research we're for referring you to the people who are yeah. doctors and yeah. work with doctors so don't do yeah. what i'm doing don't do what i'm doing go to them and they'll give you what to do and jody is very affordable compared to some of the face the 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 people out there that charge 600 us a session yeah. that's a lot of money for, to, for a facial physiotherapy six, session yeah. or anything jody doesn't charge that she's very fair so fair and like yeah like yeah we both go on but on. I honestly believe something that we don't talk about enough in our community is to really empower your body to heal. And what I mean by that is get on an anti-inflammatory diet. Mm -hmm. the inflammation in your face will exacerbate, I believe, and I, I would, most doctors I believe would agree with me, mm -hmm. makes it tougher for your body to deal yeah. with what's going on. Uh, yeah. Do meditation, D get your mind solid so you can deal with the many million things that are coming at you. Do exercise, yoga, supplements. All that mm -hmm. stuff can adds up to, to help your um, treatments that you're doing. So yes, you're doing your physiotherapy with Jody or whoever, but then you're also, you've given your body every chance to heal, to recover, to recoup, to get better. Um, and See, that's with anything, I, like any- That's with anything. You know, and that's, I love how you're putting that because you know, if I were sitting here and we were talking about I am, I, I don't know, rheumatoid arthritis, or I don't know, I'm just throwing that out there, something yeah. that people deal with. The first thing that people would say is, you know, watch your diet and make sure you get your body. And so why do we not talk about it that much? That's we, fantastic. Be, because I mean, it yeah. doesn't, it's, it's, it's the, this illness, it's like working out, you know? If you work out, you don't see results yeah. right away. You have to yeah. trust that the results will happen in the future. And with this illness, you're doing your exercises, but that day it doesn't, change it's exactly the same so you do it day after day it feels like nothing's it's not doing anything but then if you look at yourself like i have six months later when i did that thing yeah. earlier i'm like oh my gosh i've improved so That's much right. you, you don't you recognize it in the moment so you have to trust that it's working and she said that just what jody said to me she said if you have an injured achilles tendon you have to do a little bit every day for it to improve and we don't think of it like that no it's exactly little... and honestly i'm guilty of that i was like I'm like, this is too hard. Like I'm about yeah. 80%. Um, I'm fine. My life is okay. You know, 90% okay. Yeah. I'm more conscious about how I turn red when I talk. <laughs> Honestly, I'll tell you the truth. But every little bit you need to do. And I mean, I, I'm terrible at consistency. So you're like, okay, great. It's been two weeks. All that. Is. And I'm okay. I'm like, okay, move. Like you're saying, throwing the spaghetti yeah. at the wall. That's totally what it was. It's like, okay. Yeah. That is like, I don't hold resentment against it, but I'm really terrible for consistency. So I think when you're comparing it to diet and the gym and all those things, it's muscle, it's a face. There's all included in the taking care of your emotions. The whole body's connected, you know? Yeah. All, everything's yeah. connected. It's not just you fix your face and forget about everything else. And for me, <laughs> it was an excuse to sharpen up my health, get my health yeah. in order. And I'm telling you, meditation reduce the stress hormone in your life it you, mm -hmm. your recovery will improve it even says and fix my face like take your time relax we all know each muscle in our face now right because we've seen that chart and everything oh. a million times <laughs> visualize those muscles relaxing it helps with pain it helps with tightness don't underestimate the power of your brain to do a lot of the work it's not going to completely heal you overnight you know who knows but it's but just it's, another tool in your arsenal. It's just another not, tool. Yeah. You do want to do all, I like that. Another tool. It's all the things. Um, Sharon just asked what can you do when you're 37 weeks pregnant and got Bell's palsy. Oh my gosh. That sucks. First of all, just so you know, um, we're with you and you're going to be great. For you, I would say rest and make sure you get those medications. I don't know when you're pregnant. Um, obviously, I'm not, not a doctor, but make sure you yeah. get Fix My Face is available. It's You can get the ebook on iUniverse.com. So get the Fix My Face book, Sharon. Um, you do some reading while you put your foot up, feet up and relax. Um, that's definitely where I would, would start for that. Yeah. But talking about, yeah, like the health and setting yourself up for success mentally, physically, 
Um, so you've tried all the things, the acupuncture. So now you're doing your stretching, you work with, with your, you know, today I did another cranial sacral session okay. earlier today, mm -hmm. just to loosen up, loosen up. The, it, it, I mean, like you said, the whole body's connected. So if you're a little off in your face and you're overcompensating, your neck overcompensates and then your back overcompensates and it can d screw up the whole system. Yeah. And uh, your posture matters for your face. Your neck matters a lot. Your your yeah, uh, platysma connects really high here. up here. Yeah, mm -hmm. down all the way down here, and that's why a lot of people get uh, Botox as well. Is to just yeah. so it like, ooh, like get so that platysma calm down. So I do my stretches. I do get Botox in my neck um, because I get a little pr trouble with the neck stuff. Um, I, I do cranial sacral, and I'll just kind of test how I'm feeling and say based on my past treatments. I think that would be beneficial. I think that would be beneficial. Like Jody does dry needling with the mm -hmm. ultrasound, right? And that's something that we, we don't have in Vancouver, unfortunately. Yeah. But she takes an ultrasound, finds where the tissue and the fibrosis. And again, I, I'm 90% sure I'm right on this, but I might be a bit off because I'm not a doctor. Yeah. But uh, I think that, you know, when you have synchinesis and that injury, there's some fibrosis in your face and she goes in with a needle, breaks it up. And I, I've heard from people directly, it's instant relief. Yeah, a lady that I just met from around here who had Bell's palsy. Is it Pam? Pam? Yeah. Down Shout there. out to Pam. Sorry, I'm stalking you. I'm like, you're such a stalker. <laughs> but good for you because I love people like that that are like, I got to get answers. She went down there and got it. I know. And she said it was amazing. I'm jealous. I'm I like, know. Oh. I, I plan on going down there. It's in it's in Baltimore, I think. Yeah, right? Mary, Mary. My, my oldest son plays lacrosse, and lacrosse is quite big down there. So I said, okay, oh. well, lacrosse down there, I'm taking. Yeah, you. <laughs> seriously. But I, we've been looking, Jody and I, because because like I've connected Jody with, for example, the cranial sacral person in my area, and she'll work with that person, and uh, and she's worked with the Botox person, and you know she will because at at her facility they have all this stuff there in one yeah. facility. We don't have that luxury in Vancouver, yeah. um, but she can connect and she can find, you know, the equivalent or the closest thing in the area. So I've kind of made my own center of facial recovery out and, here with their guidance. Yeah, and what? And, you know, maybe that's something for you and I to work together, you know, in the mm -hmm. next month years is to kind of maybe put together people that we have experience with in different areas, because then you can be like, oh, hey, well, you know, Kyle stock, because I, I did, um, uh, fascia stretch therapy uh -huh. and that was awesome because yeah. it, it really did stretch mm -hmm. this whole body Sharon Jody is from the Center for Facial Recovery you can uh, find her on probably every second or third Instagram post. Instagram Facebook Google yeah Center for Facial Recovery and that's who we're talking about so mm -hmm. um and Sharon are you from Vancouver too uh give us give me a DM and I'll you know I'll connect you with with those with those people um we're just getting up you know trying to get people kind of more aware of bell's palsy all around the world which is just so fantastic and i'm really excited to chat um with you kyle now is there anything else you'd like to mention because i think that you and i could probably chat for uh, about five or six hours it's so, so great. <laughs> um oh. no i think we've covered a lot of it you know like <laughs> i'm you can happy to reach out to me anytime if any of you have questions specific questions i'm happy to answer anything that i know most of the time i'll tell you to go to someone a, yep, a doctor yep. or somebody but yeah, I, I cannot I... overstress the importance of getting your body on your side and your mind on your side the treatments themselves take research and you talk to people and they'll tell you what i like about jody is she has 10 options of what you can do or try this or try this try this whereas a lot of them i have will say you know neuromuscular re-education and botox those are that's the treatment neuromuscular re re and botox that's all you got and to be honest for me i didn't like I, th I thought the results i could do better than what i saw from just those two therapies although they seem amazing and i'm not saying they don't work but for me i, I want to try other things too you know I, i'm not ready to just say this is the way it is and you don't have to, yeah. And I, I think, you know, we've talked quite a few times with other people on here. I've never had quite had somebody on yet who's had surgery. But to me, as long as you're not committing, like if, if you're ready to commit to the surgery, that's great. And, you know, I stand behind you and support you. For myself, and I know you're probably seem to be similar, is anything that I can do that's not permanent like that. Stretching yeah. our 
stretch, the stretch therapy, doing the exercises, doing acupuncture, those things mm -hmm. are all worth a shot. Everything, oh yeah. You know, and um, so, you know, I think that that is really great for us to be able to talk about all those, but yeah. diet. And just, just double check with your, a doctor who knows this well, if you're starting a new treatment, you know, you don't want to jump into, because there are some out there, like for example, a lot of acupuncture will want to put e-stim on you. You have to be no, really careful of that. Every you have to yeah. be careful of that. So, yeah. so don't just jump into treatments and say, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try this. Double check with, with uh, experts. And by expert, yeah, I can't, not just the doctor, because mm. we know more, everyone here probably knows more about this than most doctors, unfortunately. Sure. Yeah, we go to someone who deals with this all the time. Yeah, and like GPs are just human. And you know, and yeah. that's what, but like you go to your GP and they know a little bit about, like they're general, the general. Yeah. Person. Well, a great example is uh, I kept hearing about eye weights because if this took yeah. this eye took forever to close and I it drove me nuts and all of you can relate when your eye doesn't close it's hell it's yeah. terrible Super annoying. so so I was I was saying I think I need an external weight so it'll help close like can I please have an external weight she's like oh you don't need that and it was the the eye doctor and and then and now that what I know better uh, knows eyes eye doctor would know about yeah that. I thought like, yeah. okay I guess she's right and now dealing with reading Fix My Face and dealing with um, some of the research that Jody's directed me to, had I had an external weight, my sync, because their philosophy at the center of facial recovery is synchine some synchinesis is formed because we're trying to close your eye. So that's why your mouth pushes up. Your, <laughs> yeah, your like body wants to close your yeah. eye. So had I done that, maybe my synchinesis wouldn't have been as bad. Yeah. I, that's too late for me. But if there's someone listening who, who uh, is earlier on in their recovery, and, and this is six months or so, whatever, do that and yeah. talk to Jody or, or someone who knows this, the latest research, because this is a very new field. Things are changing all the time with, the, with our, our illness, you know? So you have to be really up on things. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think even talking about it like that now, even myself, like I'm just more inspired now to be like, hey, I'm gonna look into this, I'm gonna look into this, because, yeah. it, you know, it isn't, a, first of all, it's not a death sentence. So keeping no. our positive mind up, you know, for people watching, make sure you take those pictures with your kids, post the picture on Instagram, even though your eye looks weird, or whatever, like, it's this is the only life you get. So yeah. you, you want to be passionate and put effort into it without obsessing. It can't be the only thing that we focus on in our life. We have so much good stuff going on. Yeah. One of the best days is when you wake up and it's not the first thing that comes into your mind is, uh, I'm dealing yeah. with this face thing. And then you can start, you start living your life. Yeah. Be with your friends. I mean, socially distance and COVID safe, all oh. that, but be sociable. It will help your recovery and not just your physical recovery, but there's a, you need to have an emotional and a mental recovery from this. This is a major injury that has hit us and physically, emotionally, phys and, um, mentally. So be kind with yourself and enjoy your life. It'll help you yeah. recover. And I'm it, telling you, for me, I'm just going to be for everybody. I'm in a weird way grateful I went through this. Because, because it taught me things that I could never learn otherwise. Yeah. And I think that that's a fabulous way of thinking of it. And like I said, I think we could talk forever. We're definitely going to have you on again. And we're going to talk about um, that energetic healing and um, passion for keeping inflammation down in your body. I think that that is going to be a great topic to talk about with you. Quite normally when I have um, people on for the first time, we kind of chat. Yeah, it's other. been a pleasure. Yeah, and then I'm wanting to do more kind of targeted topics later for people who are maybe we're going to well, get. I love what you're doing. I think it's wonderful. And I... I can't thank you enough it's really selfless and there's it's it can be very lonely and hopeless so you're you're shining a light in what can be a very dark time so thank on you behalf so of, of me and everyone around thank you so much thank you so much for your time we will be in touch and yeah. I'm going to get all the information that Kyle was chatting about with those um, professionals that he knows that you guys can look into I'll repost the information for fix my face the book that you can get on mm -hmm. iUniverse and also the contact information for the Center for Facial Recovery. So I'm going to let you go. You have a wonderful okay. and we'll be Thanks in touch. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.